My name is Jacob. I'm O. I'm Logan. And I'm Rachel. And we are students from Millard North. Call back! And this is our poem called Change. I stood silent. I walked alone. I pray it get better. Florida was my home. I knew people got shot in schools. I knew this. I knew how easy it was to get a gun. My father has five, my grandfather ten of them, and every school has a student with access to one. I knew this. I knew sometimes little kids got on a bus in the morning and didn't come back in the evening. I know about the people on podiums who tell us our government says that it's in mourning, that it weeps and its chest is heaving. I knew this. And I stayed quiet. Didn't have anywhere to put my voice, nowhere to tell them if it was my choice. I'd melt the guns down and build a steel monument, have every congressman, each senator who voted against gun control, cut the names of those children into it and hang it up above the president's bed. I walked alone. I pray it get better. Florida was my home. As an eighth grader, nobody seems to care. We're marked to him for walking out while the high schoolers are applauded for their bravery. The other kids make fun of me. They say it doesn't matter. You won't make a difference anyway. And I know I can't do everything, but I can do something. I walk out because it's gut-wrenching to think about the kids who are supposed to be in school right now, supposed to be at play practice or running on the track, supposed to be studying for the test on Friday, to be cleaning their rooms, the kids who are supposed to be alive, who were just like us. I walk out because it's the most I can do, because the people who vote for our safety don't sit in the same chairs we do. It's heartbreaking to think we're too young to care about our safety. I pray it get better. Florida was my home. I always pray it get better. I'd like to walk in my public school or any school for that matter and not worry about a fool shooting up the school like a mad hatter. In kindergarten, we learn to stop, drop, and roll in case of a fire. In high school, we learn to duck and cover in case someone opens fire. If I were a teacher, I would retire, but I'm just a student that's trying to reach higher, past that poor kid's sick desire to pull up on this empire, aiming for the least desired. I pray for no more targets on the back of our shirts, no more preying on the ones they think death deserves. Florida was my home. Seeing on the news that a high school is in a lockdown because of a school shooter made my heart skip a beat, my throat just too small to swallow, my chest telling me it's too hard to breathe. Was it my hometown? Are my friends and family okay? What if I didn't move up to Nebraska when I did? What if one of the victims was me? Guns are being brought into schools like toys for show and tell, held up in confidence, showing it off to the class. Students become silent, suffocated by curiosity and terror from a shiny metallic barrel. Until that silence turns into shots, one after another. Tids, kids start screaming, teachers intervening, and the executioner remains scheming. So, the truth is out. We aren't safe, and that could have been us. We need to change that. We, we need, need to, to change, change that. that.